A year ago, I asked each and every one of you to send me an egg for a Pokemon Nuzlocke. And no, it wasn't a scam to farm engagement because one year later, I'm finally delivering on that promise. The question I should be asking is, did you deliver? Genuine reaction? Oh my God, it's a ferret with close combat and scrappy. Okay. Yeah, I'd say that gets the job done. For those uninitiated, this is what we in the business call an egg lock, where we replace each normal Pokemon encounter in our Nuzlocke with a freshly hatched one. These Pokemon can range from completely and utterly useless to the literal god of the universe. When I attempted this challenge over a year ago with a bunch of YouTuber eggs, Furret became one of the standout mons, so it makes total sense that it would make a reappearance here. Even more fitting that we get it straight out the gates. With Sockman the Furret now leading the way, I bowled over everything in my path on the way to Roxanne, picking up several new friends along the journey. And I gotta say, I don't think that there was anything Roxanne could have done to prepare herself for the ditto sweep that was barreling her way. I, I'm pretty confident that you've never seen a strat like this before, Roxanne. I think this is going to blow your mind. All right, we hit him with it. Boom. That's, that's fine. That's just making us stronger. Boom. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Ditto's still too fast. Uh oh, the big nose pass comes in. Can they stop the sweep? We're still faster. Okay. Let's see. Can we eat two of these? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ditto just straight up does not care. Oh, and we're still faster even at minus two. Quick power, Ditto. Let's go. Let's go. I always knew. I always knew I could do it. This is what I've always wanted to see. Ditto himself fighting his way tooth and nail for victory. Yeah, there's going to be a lot of that because you all were very kind to me this run. And if you'd like to be part of the next one, subscribe. I am very close to hitting 200,000 subscribers, so it would mean a lot if you would do me a favor and hit that big red button. Speaking of big red buttons, Brawly is next up. He uses fighting type moves. Those are big red buttons. Anyways, bad transitions aside, Brawly will fall victim to losing to this Feebas that was supposed to be, well, ass. Sick Pokemon. Sick, disgusting Pokemon. Oh, they, this, this Pokemon is just there to die. Paired with this Venusaur, I knew that there was a chance I could pull off a Feebas frag. Sort of. Makuhita, absolute demon. No worries. We have a strategy. No, no! No, they knocked me off. What? My black sludge. Nikki, how could they do that? I'm going to lose my expert belt. What the heck, man? Oh, no. Uh-oh. <gasps> okay, now it's when it gets scary. Feebas, it's going to be an uphill battle for you now. Come on, Duskulls. Come on. Come on. Bulk up again. Bulk up again. You know you want to, Makuhita. We won't let it. No, you got to let us dance, man. How dare you? To it? To it? Yes. <laughs> Come on, you can get one. You can get one, Duskulls. Get one for us. Oh, wait. Wait, actually, we might be able to. <laughs> okay, we get it to, We get it back to neutral here. Come on, Duskulls. Come on, Duskulls. Knock off. No, my expert belt. Yes. I get it, Duskulls. <laughs> the poison's not going to be enough. Ugh. Come on, one more. Come on. Two hits, two hits. Two hits, please. I believed. Oh, there was, oh man. We had it, we had it, not Duskulls. The first death of the run. I thought you could, you know what? You did it, you took it out. You took it out anyways. Huge 07. I can't believe it, we almost clutched. The first blood had been shed. Feebas gave a valiant effort and defied the odds by dragging Makuhita down into the grave with her. Filled with grief, I laid her to rest, but I was confident that she would be the last to ascend to heaven. As I made my way toward the new and improved Mauville City, we ran into the new and improved Archie, but more importantly, hatched some new and improved eggs. And let's just say the rest of the run is feeling pretty inevitable. I did say it was gonna be a route one. <laughs> route one rat. Okay, it is a route one rat, but now the furret army grows. Oh man, yeah, just huge power return. The name practically speaks for itself. Sockman's furret might have been the Pokemon that started it all, but it was only a matter of time before Inevitable pushed everyone else out of the way and took rightful ownership of this one. 
Wally would be the first to fall victim to this destructive force known as Furret, and he certainly won't be the last. He's like, oh man, this is Pokemon battling things a lot harder than I thought. Before taking on Watson, I decided to hatch just a few more eggs because these names were far too promising to pass up on this prime opportunity. I feel like Dark Luigi would send in Mewtwo. Let's see how wrong I am. That, I, I think that's just their favorite Pokemon. <laughs> Now, awesome Raptor. It's going to be Star Raptor. No, that's too on the nose. There's no way. There's no way it's going to be a dinosaur. There's no way it's going to be. It's not a Raptor, but it sure is awesome. And just like how I didn't want to pass up on the prime opportunity to hatch more eggs, you shouldn't pass up on the prime opportunity to learn about the sponsor of today's video, Rocket Money. I have to come clean. I am very bad at saving money. I really like Pokemon and have a crippling plushy addiction. So I recently decided that I want to take control of my finances and get on top of my expenses. This is where the sponsor of today's video, Rocket Money, comes in to help. Rocket Money is the personal finance app that helps you cancel subscriptions, lower your bills, and manage your money better. The first thing that I noticed when I started using the app is that I am subscribed to way more services than I realized. With Rocket Money, you can safely and securely identify those recurring charges, and they'll even cancel those unwanted subscriptions for you. And would you look at that? Now I'm 2% of the way to being able to afford the Porygon Celadon Game Corner Poke Plush. And I didn't even have to worry about a customer service call because you know how terrifying those can be. I'm also using Rocket Money to help better manage my spending by setting budgets for myself so that I don't keep buying, well, you know. With the app, you can analyze your spending habits to create a custom budget that works with your lifestyle. Automatically monitor your spending by category and get notifications when you've exceeded your limits. Rocket Money has helped to save its customers up to $740 a year when using all the features with over $500 million in canceled subscriptions. To save more and spend less, join the over 5 million members using Rocket Money today. Go to rocketmoney.com slash Captain Kid or click on the link in the description to get started for free. You can also unlock even more features with premium. That's rocketmoney.com slash Captain Kid to get started for free. While these newly hatched eggs wouldn't be joining us immediately, I felt more than confident saying that any one of these three has the chance to become a staple in the Egglock's lore. Why didn't I feel I would need their services right away? Well, that's because Goat Curry the Electrode had us covered. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Scary Magnemite, what am I gonna do? Hmm, hmm, let's think, let's think. The, the correct answer is just an earthquake, but let's see what happens if we don't. Let's see what happens if we don't. Let's see how wrong this could go. Oh, man. Oh, you tried it. All right. Well, I think you're a little, a little bit of a pickle. Gotta say that you might be in a little bit of a pickle, Watson. Oh, he's holding on. He holds. Oh, my. What a, what a trick. He tricked me. He's like, yeah, try and get through this, buddy. I'll show you the power of Sturdy. That was a three-hit KO. That Magnemite was like, nah, I might be four times weak to ground, but good luck p getting past all this. I am you, but better. You will never compare to me. You will never be as good as me, Voltorb. I'm sorry. Oh, this is an awesome Pokemon. And last, but certainly not least, the big scary Magneton, but it's really not all that scary when you have a plus six earthquake at your disposal. <laughs> that was Goat Curry's time to shine. I don't know if this name is supposed to mean Goat Curry or Goat Curry, but I'm choosing to believe it's the former because this person certainly cooked, and I don't want to be reminded of any events that may or may not have transpired in the summer of 2016 to my favorite NBA team. Inevitable claims its next victim as Archie falls at the hands of these powerful choice band, huge power boosted returns. With Team Aqua dealt with for the time being, it's off to Flannery to douse her flame. And what better way to do that than with, you guessed it, some new eggs. And now the egg that my own mother submitted, Mr. Mime, her favorite Pokemon has made it in. So now Mr. Mime is my mom, I guess. That's a little weird. Aerodactyl, let's go. This was before Dat-Dact was a thing. So this is just an Aerodactyl enjoyer. Uh, small, this is Cleffa. I have no read on these people. I have no read on these people. We found our Norman Sweeper, I guess. 15, the kid, hard read. This is gonna be the first slacking. 
Well, that that was just that one made too much sense. That one just made too much sense. You know that one's on me. Shiny Makuhito, we got it. The journey's over. After all these years, I finally got the shiny Makuhita. Shoutouts Cannons for putting this all together for me, giving us all of these beautiful eggs. And oh, oh, two shinies in one batch? Okay, this is the moment. Shiny Lucario. Their name is literally Shiny Lucario. If this is not a Shiny Lucario, I'm deleting my YouTube channel. I'm deleting my YouTube channel. This has to be it. This is my one shot. I just need to get one right. There's no way it's Shiny Lucario and they give you... Well... What an incredible batch. Finally, after all of these years, I would be able to use the shiny Makuhita that has forever eluded me in the Hoenn region. My first ever shiny Pokemon that I failed to catch because I lacked the resources was finally here, and he was certainly ready to single-handedly topple Flannery. But look at that emotion, that raw emotion. She cares, man. She's so badass. All right, mom, set us up. Give us those screens. Beautiful. Exactly what we wanted to see. All right, let's see some more of that, actually. Do it again. I really like that. Uh, see, my I told you, my mom cooked. <gasps> there it is. My shiny Makuhita finally came home. And now we rock blast. Bop. Bop. Huge crit turn one. Uh-oh. They're sending out the big guns. <gasps> let's see what we do. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, not looking great for our boy, but I believe. I believe. Oh, huge crit. Wait, maybe there's a chance. Sunny day. Oh. oh. Do you want to live? Do you want to live, Makuhita? You missed. Oh, okay. It's cursing. Uh, that's not good either. Okay, we just crit one of these and we're fine. Oh my god. Wait, maybe? Oh, it's going to live at like 1 HP? Just kidding. Yes. Makuhita's the goat. Let's go. The Makuhita, the shiny Makuhita sweep. Are we seeing it? Is it real? And that's why after all this time, it was so worth it. It was so worth it. With her fiery spirit now extinguished, it's back to Petalburg we go. And since there aren't really any new encounters we can grab along the long trek back, I want to continue to highlight some of that previous batch that was oh so promising. He's going to be so confused. He's going to be like, son, why do you have a contrary hit on top with superpower? That's evil. And why would you bring that into this gym? My normal gym. Haha, -ha, the vital spirit came in so clutch. How did my mom know? Yeah, I had to bring mom to fight dad. I, I'm a mama's boy. <laughs> Let's see, this is still probably going to do some damage. Okay, this is why we need to start setting up our superpowers. Okay. Honestly, ideal with the shell bell too. This this is a this is a disgusting set. We basically just got one free bulk up in there. That's really all that was. He just needed to yawn the contrary hip on top. That was the only way he was gonna stop this. Cause we're spinning on him, baby. You know what? I want I want cannons. I brought the coughing for a reason. I love this coughing set. We're gonna spore him. The hell they can't do anything. And now we're going to give them a good old wake up slap. Nap time's over, buddy. You just got absolutely schooled, son. It was too easy. <laughs> he had no chance. Oh, that was a perfect team. Man, it's almost like these uh, these crazy Pokemon we got are pretty dang good or something. After that grueling fight with our dad, I decided it was time for another batch. Because these things... Yeah, we kind of just started going rogue and hatching eggs whenever we felt like it. Because that's what you're really here for. Okay, for the Timmy egg, it's going to be like some cat. I'm, I'm going to say Esper. Please, just one. Dude, I want, I want to get one right Embor? yes yo let's go <laughs> well we've got a game plan all right dark wolf chatter i think you were right this is 100 lucario dark wolf there is no better pokemon to represent dark wolf than lucario <gasps> let's go let's go i knew it see uh, chatter knew it but i also knew it <laughs> And we got one right. One out of 150. The channel is saved. We got one. What? 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 
how is it level 35? I, I don't know. He just came straight out of the box ready. He's like, yep, let's go. All right, B dog. We're thinking Arcanine. It's got to be a big dog. Oh, that does look like a big dog to me. But he's like dog, not a, not a dog, you know. Okay, and the one that I'm most excited for, Country Deku. What in the hell is a Country Deku? Guard of, okay, sure. Why not? Why not? Why wouldn't it be Guard of War? Uh, oh, no, no. How could you expect me to hatch a perfect Pokemon for this section of the game and not use it? Dark Wolf was practically created in a lab to be used in this exact section of Hoenn. And I didn't. Oopsie. Now that I had Surf at my disposal, I needed a Pokemon capable of traversing us through this region with way too much water. Naturally, Inevitable was the only correct choice for such a technique. Return plus three HMs is the exact set that I envision for a Pokemon capable of carrying us through the entirety of our journey. Immediately after crossing the treacherous waters of Route 118, we bump into Steven, as well as Latios. This is the point of the game where you get whisked away to claim your free Latios, but all I see is a shiny new egg. <laughs> shiny Amapom, let's go. Huh. I didn't think that it would actually be shiny. I decided that for the remainder of the mid game, I would just speed up and rely on my trusty furret to do all of the dirty work for me. Because when has that ever gone wrong? Surprisingly, this time it all worked out. The inevitable furret leads us right up to Winona's doorstep, but it's up to some of the new eggs to claim victory for a change. <gasps> Let's go in furred ape. Bop. Look, this is huge power choice band in Fernape. I think we're chilling. I think we just do this. She sends out Altar Artari at first. I don't even care, bro. Watch, we get this thunder, we get this thunder punch para. It's too free. Or it just kills. <laughs> oh wow. Lame, lame. L L L Pelipper. L Pelipper. Or I guess I should do this. L Pelipper. Big fat L's from Pelipper. The easy ape sweep. I love Egglock so much. This is why you need some stinkers. You guys really need to be a lot more mean to me in the next Egglock. Six gym badges down and it is time for some plot. And who better to steamroll through Team Aqua than Dark Wolf? The one sworn enemy to those who want to fill this world full of water. Dark Wolf will stop at nothing until every single Team Aqua member falls to their knees in his wake. Okay, this is what Dark Wolf was made for. Dark Wolf, the natural predator of the Carvana. Can't even get touched by the rough skin. This was a genius, a genius egg. Can't be stopped, look at him go. That's the power of Dark Wolf right there. Dark Wolf, can you do it? Can you kill Sharpedo? Test passed. Not even Team Aqua admin Matt with his strongest, most powerful team of one Sharpedo could stop the wrath of Dark Wolf. The Dark Wolf sees red, and by that I mean he sees blue, because he hates Team Aqua. The Grim Reaper of Team Aqua. All of Team Aqua fears that they might one day run into the Dark Wolf. How much stronger has he gotten? He's got a nice, just stuck the one Sharpedo. I think we need to launch full power close combat from Lucario. And Dark Wolf has officially expelled them all from Aqua Hideout. Wherever Team Aqua ends up, Dark Wolf will find them. Archie might have escaped for now, but mark my words, Dark Wolf will have his way with him when the time comes. That whole Team Aqua extravaganza really has me itching to get back to the real purpose of this Nuzlocke, egg. And with this next batch, a true legend was born. Please be something awesome. I, you can't have a name like the Gork and send in something lame. Rapunos! So I don't know, I don't know how, but that's the most Gork looking Pokemon I think that we could have received. We have to take a look at the Gork immediately. It's gonna be like life orbed. Oh, well, the Gork certainly gets to go out with a bang. I will say that. He will kill one Pokemon. Uh, he might kill more than one Pokemon. Out of morbid curiosity, I looked up this word before filling the rest of the script with it. And let's just say for the context of this video that this usually will have to do some heavy lifting. Our Gork is just a silly little Rampardos and definitely nothing more than that. Anyways, uh, Tate and Liza. All right, here it is. 
Here we go. Come on. Come on. If anybody can do it, it's the Gork. If anybody can do it, it is the Gork. All right, we're about to go boom on him. And we splash. Here it is. Come on. The Gork. Show him how it's done. Doesn't matter. It's going to be resisted. Doesn't even matter. <laughs> it's too easy. It's too easy for the Gork. <laughs> Get Gorked on. Get Gorked on. Let's go. Let's go, baby. It's too free. Our teamwork. They're so shook. They're like, wow, we've never seen anybody do that before. That is definitely a record for the fastest gym fight of my entire life. Soak it all in as we've just witnessed peak. The ripple effects from the boom were felt worldwide as it seemed to create some sort of disturbance off the shores of Moss Deep. In an effort to investigate further, I found that it was actually Team Aqua who were the culprits once again. And you know that the mere mention of their name gets Dark Wolf riled up. After clearing through the grunts blocking the way, it was finally time for Dark Wolf to come face to face with the leader of the bunch himself. This is the true power of my team. I think I'm ready. I gotta say, I think we're ready for it. We're, we're gonna shift here. We're gonna set up on this mighty enough. Scary face. I just got free setup. I don't even care. You know, let's do it again. I'll do it again. No way he lets me do this. No way he lets me get away with this. Have we solved it? Holy, holy, we've just broken, we have broken Archie's brain. He wants to show us his scary face no matter how many times you do it. It's not intimidating enough, Mighty Anna. We want to go even further beyond. How far will they let us go? Uh-oh, big scary crowbat. Whatever will we do at plus six? <laughs> Maxi came prepared. Uh, well, you want to click haze again, man? It'd be kind of awesome if you clicked haze again for me. Oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, Dark Wolf's in trouble now. He'll be back. Dark Wolf will return. Uh, we're obviously going to hit this head smash, obviously. Boom. Never misses. Never doubted. Muck. Yes, perfect. All right. <laughs> Let's get it started again. This poor, poor muck only has poison type moves. He's the fastest being in the universe and muck struggles. It has to sit there and watch as we dismantle all of Archie's team one by one. You might have Mega Sharpedo on your side, Archie, but I have something much, much stronger. I have the Dark Wolf. <laughs> he had no chance. Shift gear Lucario simply too powerful. Unfortunately, defeating Archie in battle was not enough to quell the enraged monster that he'd set off, so Kyogre jets off and begins covering the Hoenn region in a torrential downpour. Apparently, I am the only one qualified enough to stop this beast, but I think it's for good reason, because I have the ultimate Kyogre Slayer. One Ludicolo against the world. We quiver dance? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know about this one. Okay, we, we, we need to we need to get so strong. We're just gonna dance on him. The power of song and dance. All right, we teeter on him. <laughs> I believe in the Ludicolo sweep. Yes! Yes! We quiver dance again. We dance on him, baby. We dance. Come on, hit yourself in confusion again. Yes! I knew the power of dance would be too much. All right, and now we go crazy. Now it's time to go crazy. <laughs> I knew it! I knew Ludicolo was the one! We saved the world! Awesome Raptor proved that there is no being strong enough to stop the power of dance. With the world saved, there was only one thing left to do. Uh, beat the last gym leader. A little anticlimactic now, don't you think? Nothing to fear because I had been planning for this one. Wallace was absolutely not ready to take on the Buzz family. Oh, and don't forget about this little guy. Now show me, show me the power you wield with your Pokemon. As I pose, pose. Whoa, what was that shot, Game Freak? Whoa, I did not need to see that. We did not need to go that close up. Throw in the problem, child. Yep, there he is. This is the objectively wrong play, but the head of the family has to show. Sometimes you just gotta go for that 20% ice punch freeze, baby. Come on. Come on, give me one. Yes, yes. No, no. 
Oh, a roller coaster of emotions. But we hold. All right, now the kids can come out and play. Big dog did exactly what they needed to. <laughs> well, we're gonna see how long this takes. Oh man. I know Wonder Guard sweeps are boring, but when it's a cute little Ella kid, can we can can we just not do this, Milotic? Come on, one more, one more full para. We can win this war of attrition, I believe. We can win the war of attrition. It's elegant against the world. Oh my God. Okay, there we go. He got paralyzed twice, by the way. He's actually unkillable. Okay, we got him, we got him. I told you, Elekid was gonna win the war of attrition. Who better to come in last but seize us? Well, we, we gotta get the full Buzz family in here. We have one move. Okay, we need this. We need this Ice Punch Freeze. Come on. Didn't get it. Didn't get it. Unlucky. Unlucky. Okay, back into Jimby, I guess. We got the whole family out there, at least. The untouchable belly drum using Crocunk. <laughs> and Wallace is just too shook. Bravo. He's like, that was lame as hell. <laughs> Two Wonder Guard Mons? Come on. Come on. I thought you had more honor than that. At this point, I think you've come to realize that victory is inevitable. There would be absolutely nothing that could stand in the way of the monstrosities that you all provided me. Especially not Wally. Here I come! Uh, that was great and all. Anyways, let me introduce you to Inevitable Furret and their returns. Oh, Roselia, bro. That's not the one you want to be throwing out, man. That's not what you want to be doing. Go all the way, Furret. You are inevitable. You are inevitable. Send it home. You might have the theatrics on your side, but that is nothing. There's nothing that could stop him. You tried your best, but it was inevitable. And with that, I had made it to the Elite Four. It was time to decide on which six Pokemon I wanted to take into the Hall of Fame. Our first member needs absolutely no introduction, as their inclusion was inevitable. Furret would remain the one constant in an ever-changing landscape of eggs. Our second member was yet another staple, Dark Wolf. The Team Aqua Terminator who single-handedly toppled the entire organization. Awesome. A Ludicolo whose strength rivals that of some of the most powerful threats that the world has ever seen. Priestess Lucy. An Aerodactyl who has gotten little to no screen time, but I like this Pokemon, so it's making the Elite Four team. R in Jesus. This random Arceus egg that we hatched and, well, that's content, baby. And last, but certainly not least, my mom's egg because how could I not include that? Would these six make it across the finish line? I feel like Furret might have an answer to that question. Oh my God. Okay, that's pretty epic. <laughs> Damn. The theatrics on this are incredible. Let's do it. I'm hyped. I'm hyped. Oh shoot, this is so badass. Yeah, they cooked. The Intimidate, you think that's gonna stop me? You think that's gonna stop me? I'm shift gearing it up. Get out played, bucko. All right, now he's gonna swagger, so now we power up punch. Easy, easy, red like a buck, red like a buck. Absol, we punch, we punch. It's too free for the goat. Dark Wolf sees Sharpedo, he's like, I gotta, I gotta give him my all. <laughs> I gotta close combat this guy. You step to the wrong legend, Sydney. Cacturn, 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 Sydney. You disappoint me, Sydney. You disappoint me. I thought you were gonna have an answer. I thought you were gonna have an answer for the dark wolf, but the dark wolf simply always prevails. All right, now, now the real question comes. What do we do against Phoebe? Come on, just try and see if you can even inflict damage on my Pokemon. Wait, how did she know? How did she know that I pulled up with uh, a bunch of normal types and fighting types that can't hit her ghost types? But that's okay. I've got the power of luck on my side. Treasure, we don't care. Look, I've got a lot of metronome PP. What comes first? Icicle crash, we take those. Big damage, show me a flinch. <laughs> All right, there we go. Come on, show me something good, baby. Show me something good. Rage, that one's not gonna work. No. 
<laughs> no, we're gonna lose. The important thing that Aerodactyl is now in and can fire off Brave Birds at will. I think I'm just gonna Brave Bird away. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, baby. Oh yeah, baby. Pressure. All right, this calls for a head smash. We wanna get this thing off my screen. Get this guy off my screen. Now there's just gonna be a couple of Bennett in the back. It should be easy pickings. Walk. All right, well, our RNGesus let us down. All right, ice, ice, ice. I think I know who we need for this one. We're about to dance on him. You know what, why not? Why, why not just get a little, a little cheeky teeter dance in? Let's just see, let's just make Glacia's life a little bit more annoying. Yes! Okay, the strategy is working to perfection. All right, we do a little, little dance, a little bit more dancing. I do wish that I had some way of recovering some health here, but it's fine. We're just gonna go. Now the, sw now the sweep begins. Now this is the fiery dance we needed. Melt all that ice away, baby. You can take down Primal Kyogre. Surely you can take down a little Frostlass. Okay, Walrein came out. That is not what I wanted to see, but uh, it's fine because we're just gonna pedal dance and Walrein's gonna die. Let's go! It was it was scary there for a second, but Awesome Raptor pulled through. We're two fights left to go. Two fights left. The final E4 member. He's got the big scary dragons, but we've got something much, much scarier on our hands. All right, Drake, that was cool and all, but Choice Band Huge Power Return has other plans. It has other plans, buddy. You don't even want to throw out the Salamence yet? I don't know about that one, buddy. I would have maybe thrown it out. <laughs> From the moment that that first Egglock was uploaded, we all knew that the ultimate Furret would rise from the ashes and absolutely sweep the entire game. Oh, here he comes, the big bad Salamence. Well, you think one little Intimidate? You think one little Intimidate is gonna slow us down? Not a chance, because victory, okay. <laughs> like I said, victory is inevitable. You can use as many full restores as you want. Delay the inevitable as long as you want. It comes for all of us. And you are no different. You are no different. Let's go, let's go, it's too easy. It's too easy for the goat. And now we simply have one, one, one fight remaining. Let it begin. Oh, we're not wasting any time. That's why you're my goat. That's why Steven is the goat. We don't waste any time. No three, no theatrics, we just get into it. Your Skarmory that you rudely would not let me ride on back to Sutopolis City. I remember that, see, I remember that. I remember that and now look, I got a bird of my own. All right, easy money. Easy money. All right, Agron. Uh, let's see. This is gonna Stone Edge me. Oh, oh, we eat those. You know, Dark Wolf is eating those. Let's go. All right, we power up. This might. It might be a Dark Wolf sweep. I'm not gonna lie. We eat this EQ. No problem. Nice. Pop a pop a full restore. Why don't you? Come on, Steven. Pop a full restore. He didn't do it. Okay. He didn't fall for the bait. How did he know? How did he not fall for the bait there? What the heck? Clay all comes out. All right. Get in there, mom. We need the we need the support that only a mom can grant. And now the sweep begins. You've saved the world once. We need you to we need you to save this Nuzlocke. Because now we're just gonna set up. <laughs> we're just gonna quiver dance up. Extra sensory. We're gonna eat that. The light screen. That light screen support, baby. We're going all the way. We're dancing to the Hall of Fame, baby. We fiery dance. We're dancing on him. All right. Can plus six. Ludicolo, go the distance at plus six. Oh, it's not enough, but we got that own tempo, baby! Outplayed, outplayed. We dance to our own rhythm, Steven. How could you forget these things? I don't think anything is stopping this. We're dancing all the way home. Oh, the big scary Mega Metagross. They thought we had no Mega Metagross answer. Psych! We got the best of the best. We got plus six Ludicolo ready to fire away a fiery dance and send us home. We are Hall of Fame bound now, baby. First you saved the world, now you saved the viewer Egglock, awesome Raptor. You will be remembered forever. Champion Steven goes down. Absolute cinema. That's the type, that's what we need.
another flawless egg lock victory. If you enjoyed this video, be sure to click on this one where I used a bunch of YouTuber eggs and feel free to leave a comment letting me know what you would have submitted. Bonus points for giving me something that won't completely steamroll through the game.